What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? It's your boy Q Morgan in the building. This is Blowing the Budget. Here we highlight those budget friendly cigars, as well as those premium sticks that appears on everybody's wish list. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, maybe give me two thumbs up. This automatically enters you into the monthly swag bag drawing. Each month, pick out a couple of sticks, print out a couple of shirts, send those directly to your house. I grab one directly from the request line. This is La Flor Dominicana. LFD, y'all. Cameroon Cabinet. Let's get into it. I want to welcome all my smoker friends with Blown the Budget. Here we highlight those budget friendly cigars, as well as introduce our new smoker friends to this cigar lifestyle. Today we blowing on an LFD Cameroon Cabernet. Right off the introduction, I'm getting a little earthy tone. A little sweet spicy to the retro hell. Don't know what this is all about, but just get into it. So sit back, sit tight. This is blowing the budget. Now this cigar is darker than many of the Cameron cigars I've smoked in the past. There is a lot of veining in this particular stick, uh, but none of which stand out. The wrapper is has a fair amount of oil on it. There is some discoloration. So of course we would mark away points for those small imperfections, but this is still a 93 rated cigar by aficionado for those that care. As we get into that first third, that sweetness, the white pepper is still evident. I'm getting a little uh, vanilla uh, tasting uh, creaminess happening and if you look at that nice even ash consistent burn very little wobbling since we're so concerned about the cigar let's go ahead and break down that construction LFD Cameroon Cabernet is offered in six different Vitolas, but mine came in a 5 by 50 Robusto. This is a full strength classification with a Cameroon wrapper aged four years. This is Nicaraguan and Dominican long filler, and it's all bound by tobaccos harvested in Dominican Republic. Let's see what this smoke like. As we get up to that halfway point, it's basically a consistent flavor. Uh, you're getting the vanilla, a little woody, earthiness. I can't quite distinguish what that wood taste is. It's kind of giving me cedar vibes, but not necessarily cedar closet. But then of course I'm getting like oak or smoked meat barbecue type vibes. Um, can't quite distinguish exactly what that wood is, but there is a vanilla and earthy note that actually comes, plays back and forth with a little bit of creamy coffee, if that makes sense. Wait a minute, what the hell is earth taste like, you may ask? Imagine going to your favorite nursery and getting that bag of potting soil or standing in front of the mulch section at your favorite gardening store. Earth, that smell. If you could associate a taste with that smell, that may help you make sense of it. Try to learn to associate smells and tastes. So the person that is receptive to citrus may salivate if someone peels an orange in your vicinity. The palate that is accustomed to sweet baking smells will definitely go crazy salivating when they smell grandma's Sunday service pound cake. So we definitely want to learn to associate 
flavors with smells and smells with flavors. Now, does that make sense? Now, for those that know, LFD is known as the king of Lahiro. Not Lagiro, not Legaro, Lahiro. Like that. But, not being content with being a one trick pony, they've introduced the Cameroon Cabinet. Not Cameroon Cabinet. You know, ebonic pronunciations can fuck up the whole cigar experience. Cameroon Cabinet. This is a treat for those that like vanilla creamy chocolate flavored cigars but natural sweeteners natural sweetness this is definitely one to try so all of y'all that's been doing the regular old red LFDs or the regular old black LFDs come on over to the Cameroon side see what this one smells like I guarantee you might want to add this one to the box now as you can see we still kicking ash working our way through half and we get into the halfway it's just really a mild medium flavor cigar it's not real punchy it's not real strong however it is classified as a full strength cigar the flavors are definitely pronounced the Cameroon uh, wrapper or the Ligero, Ligero, I'm sorry is basically producing the sweet spice and then of course your Dominican tobacco is also going to give you some additional flavor combinations. It's a nice play on vanilla, coffee, wood, earth. It plays well back and forth and it pairs well with your favorite morning beverage, be it coffee, be it cappuccino. This would definitely be a good morning stick or a nice glass of whiskey after dinner. This would definitely be a late night porch patio puffing session in my book. Now the Cameroon Cabinet comes in six different Vitolas. So there is something for every type of smoker with this stick. Definitely go out and get you some. picking up a little cedars, a little oaky. It's kind of play on wood versus play on words. Mm. Getting a little leathery pickup now. And we're just getting into the half, just introducing the half and we're still holding a nice firm ash. So got a little gonzo nose going on, but still a good ash nonetheless. Damn it, I spoke too soon. Definitely getting through half. And you can see a nice point on that ash or that amber. Definitely creating a nice smoking experience. You're getting nice plumes of smoke. I'm doing a V-cut, a little small hole V-cut. Uh, nothing major. This Vitola was a five by 50. Ran me about nine bucks. So it's definitely within budget. Uh, you can probably cop a box of these for well, next to nothing at the right spot. Look, I'm no professional by any means. However, I do enjoy the opportunity to share with my smoker friends those sticks that I enjoy, as well as those that I don't. In regards to the LFD Cameroon Cabernet, this is definitely one that I'll be adding to the box. You should go out and get some. See what you smoke like. Maybe you like them, maybe you don't. Leave a comment below if you've done LFD. What's the next one to try? Put me on. Retro hell. I do it in all my videos or many of my videos. We puff the stick. You never inhale. You're gonna hold some of the smoke in your mouth until you get a sensation in your tongue and your cheeks. 
Once you get that sensation, you release some of the smoke, holding the last portion so that can be released through your nose. With some practice, you'll be able to identify more specific flavors in whatever you've chosen to smoke. Here's a demonstration. Mm. And that's where you're going to get that little bit of white pepper. It's not really peppery, so you can almost drag inhale this if your nostrils could take it. I don't think I want to try that, but you're going to pick up a little bit of that earthy tone. Uh, again, the leather note is becoming a little more pronounced, and there's like a sweet aftertaste or an after smell on the retro hill. All right, y'all, we making our way to the home stretch. Not quite done with the session, but we are approaching nonetheless. Approaching this last third. Everything is kind of ramping up just slightly. More flavors are being uh, pronounced. You can pick up that leather and earth at the same time, you're now getting a little bit of cinnamon spiciness. Not necessarily caliente, but more or so of a baking spice. Like I said, this is definitely a good morning stick. I like the stick. I like it a lot. The La Hero is definitely a sweet combination. Uh, with the Cameroon tobacco. This is long filler. So unlike your normal cigars, you may be spitting out tobacco particles. This is all long filler. There are no small cuts added in this cigar. So everything goes from start to finish, one leaf all the way down. Makes for a very nice smoking experience. I'm getting a perfect draw, uh, heavy plumes of smoke. You don't have to pull so hard to actually enjoy the flavors. Well, we're going to finish this stick out. I'm looking at this backyard, I look like I got some work to do. So, whatever y'all doing in this cigar lifestyle, make sure you keep it smoky. Please, let's not sweat this cigar shit too serious. Enjoy your day. It's your boy Q Morgan in the building. Peace out.